decide, you know, and to be able to have a variety of different warm-ups every different training session. It's something new for the players every time, you know. Uh, they're thinking, now what we're going to do today rather than, oh man, I know what we're going to do now, you know. And it just takes a little imagination. But I'm going to send you a bunch of stuff, but on here, we'll do some dynamic stretches. We'll do ball work on this side. Mm -hmm. And intermittently, what I'll do is I'll blow my whistle. And now maybe we jog here, okay. And then we've got a ball this side and we'll do ball work here. So we might do this for 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Bang, we'll, we'll increase the pace mm -hmm. to three-quarter pace, then flat out sprints. So we're getting our running, we're getting our dynamic stretching, we're getting agility work in, uh, all in a 10 minute period, you know? And then I might, I might custom design the, pract uh, the warm up depending on what my sh practice is. Okay. If I'm doing possession work within my warm up, there might be a lot of ball work passing. Mm. If, if I'm doing heading in the warm up, there might be a little basic fundamental heading games, you know, in the warm up. So it's just an intro into the to the main to the main topic, but again, I've got I've got over a hundred different warm-ups I do. I'm going to send you them all. You can watch them on video, and uh, and I'm sure you've got some great ones I could learn from too. You've been around a bit. Yeah, that's why that's why I do Soccer Coach TV. When I see people copy the stuff I do, that's the whole reason I do it. You know, to try and help them out, but. Uh, you know, I get some of my ideas, which I obviously make myself, I create myself, but I also see stuff on social media, I watch other coaches, and I say, I like that, but I'm going to put my little change on it. Yeah. So you watch me, you don't have to copy me, but you say, all right, I like that, and I like that, and I'll maybe put that in my session, and then I'm going to steal some stuff from you, Vitara. Right? <laughs> right? Hey, another day in paradise. So today we are on our fourth session today uh, it's been a very productive week with these players i've loved coaching them and i said this on social media the other day that one of the biggest surprises for me was when i was in puerto rico and even here within a, such a short period of time uh, developing such an attachment to these players great personalities they're very curious eager as heck to, to develop as players so we've pl we we spent plenty of time working on our technical game here but also we've spent time just sitting down talking about our different cultures and talking about, you know, as a coach with a lot of experience, what I think is important for the culture of their team. But um, listen, it's not hard to get up every morning and you, you look back here, you've got the ocean in the background. Look at these guys, man. We're, this is 20 minutes, 20 minutes before the practice session starts. They're out here just, they can't wait to get started. They can't wait to get going. So I got to show up. And make sure it's worth their time. Get it down, get it down. In the middle of the ball, middle of the ball. That's it, that's it. Every touch counts, guys. It's like a dripping tap. Little drop of water. Mightn't seem like a lot. And one day, come back in three months, there'll be a whole ocean of water. Every pass is a little drop. Make it a good one. It's accumulative. Come back in three months, you're going to have a lot of good passes. Four yards. Two yards. Four yards. Kill a ball, change. Come on, pick it up now. Two yards. Four yards. Keep it clean, keep it clean. Six yards. Good, well done, much better, much better. Well done, Tiago, bang, bang, bang. Great stuff, son, great stuff. Yeah, you look like you play for Barcelona there, son. Kill the ball, let's go, 70%, 70%. Ball down, here we go, forward skip, side to side. Go. Get the ball passing, go, off you go, get the ball passing, bang, bang, bang. Huh. Yeah, it's roasting, look at this man, this is sweat. Pick up all the cones for me guys and bring it in here. What do you call, what do you call a beer, hey, what do you call a beer with no ears? A beer with no ears? 
What do you call a bear with no, with no ears? Yeah. A B. How do you spell bear? play we're just going to do a little bit of technical work before we get into some more uh, bigger sided practice sessions okay it's going to be pretty intense the next hour so let's go all out give us again everything you've got in here and um, we talked about a speed of play yesterday listen in the Premier League how long do you think a player in the Premier League keeps the ball for on average One, two, three, four, three. not the whole game just Every time he gets it, how long do you think he keeps it for? They've done, they've done studies on that, okay? And I believe this year, or was it last year, they kept the ball for something like 2.2 seconds in a game, on average. That's not saying that players don't run with the ball or dribble and stuff like that. But on average, when they get possession, they keep for two seconds because they play what? They're rapid, isn't it? It's not fast, it's rapid. You try and control a ball from a pro player in the Premier League, they just fire it in, okay? But that's actually reduced over the last, I think, six or seven years. It used to be something like 2.7 seconds a player. It's got down to about 2.2 seconds a player. So which means that the English game at the Premier League is really, you know, sped up. You've got to be able to play fast. If you can play fast, you can play with anybody. You can always slow the game down, okay? But players your age tend to struggle they can play at a certain speed, but once you get up to the level of a faster pace, things start to break down. So you've got to be relentless in your pursuit to be, be able to play, hey, in top gear, if you need to, all right? Swap, quickly, bang, demand it! Yeah, too quiet, you're like two monks in a monastery. Oh. Not got to stop it there, it breaks down. So here, yeah. what's your name again? You're better than that, I've seen you play. Give me quality all the time, because all, all you're doing right now is practicing to be poor. And if you keep on doing this, you're going to get poorer, 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 and poorer. That's the play I knew you were, son. Well done. Yeah. Change again, quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Up, shoulder, shoulder, challenge, challenge, get up. Boom, get up and make a pass. There you go. Ready? <laughs> Guys! Watch these two! Hold it! Watch these two here! Bang! Demand the ball! Hit the ground running! Get up! Challenge! Down! Hit the ball running! Bang! Get up! Challenge! Boom! Off you go! Quickly! Off you go! Everybody! Good! Guys, change over! Change over! Great job, you two! Love it! Yep! Yeah, demand the ball! Yes! Bang! 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 Get up and challenge! Yes, well done, love it. <laughs> Guys, can you stand out of this square? Because we're going to be working in here. Uh, the four boys that were in here stay in. Both of you guys over there, please. Yeah. Both of you guys this corner. So look at face here. You're going to be going to that line. You're going to be going to that line. Okay? Got it? You. You're going to that line. You're going to that line. We're just going to spend a short while just on our creative moves. Hey, our creative moves, do you have any tricks? Because in a game, it's going to be a battle. If you're marking me in a game, it's going to be a battle who's the smartest, who's got the most tricks. Most players don't have any tricks in their bag, maybe one. We're just going to show you about some of the best moves that are easy to, easy to learn, easy to master, that you could be working on your, on your own, okay? First one is the 180, the turn. Fake shot, fake cross, okay? So watch carefully, slow motion. Take your ball, dribble it to here. I want you to fake to cross it, put it behind you, come back. Show me, show me that move, show me that move. Go, go ahead, sorry. You go back there. 
You do the same going that way. Go. Let me show you. Fake cross, fake cross, bang, bang, bang. Good, love it, love that. And go back to your square and relax, okay? Now you're gonna do it at the same time. You go there and you go here, but you're all gonna do it at the same time. So we're all going to different corners. On my whistle, Most players right? your age, and it's so easy to fix if you wanna get better. Most players your age are gonna do this. You're gonna do it anyway, even after I tell you not to, you're gonna do it. When you turn, you're really not gonna pay attention to what side you're gonna play the ball and you'll just push it back. Most players do this, in my experience. They do that and just hit it back. Well, if there's no thought in it, and I turn here, at now I'm on my weak foot. Good, well done, big man. Do it more explosive. Bounce out of that foot, though. Beautiful, beautiful, well done. 15 minutes, flat out, game-like intensity, okay? We're working on a defensive shape. And we're also working on penetration, the speed of play to penetrate. Defensive and defensive. Uh, yeah, both sides, at the same time. So you make your points defensively, you make your points... You know, you might want to just focus on one end, one end but I can do two there, you know, and yeah, make yeah. just to lift it up a bit. I mean, I would spend... There's different variations of this you can do, you know? Okay. Um, but it's good exercise. With, yeah. with better players, smaller space. Yeah. You can do it with three players, you can do it with two players. In line with these cones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is on you. Guys, bring it in. Hey, I want to get going straight away. So you guys knocking the ball around, talking, just just, just delays me. Okay, thank you. Your player, listen, empty the tank, work hard, and then I'll swap you with somebody else so you can get, give you a rest, okay? But we're in here, flat down on the gas. Work hard, pressurize him when they're playing out. When you need a rest, I'll put you in here, okay? Guys, listen, another mammoth effort, another great effort from you. Uh, you know, it, it just makes me smile and it makes me laugh too in a way that just watching now, the last five minutes of the game, Terry was talking to me and I'm looking over his shoulder watching you and it's about three tackles which were just crunching tackles, man. You get they were like Mack trucks hitting each other and then in the last couple of minutes of practice after two hours and, you, and you're going at it so hard. It's just, it just amazing me. It's mind boggling me that you're just resilient as heck. Resilient as heck. I love it. I love it. Listen, tomorrow... Two hours of creating goal scoring opportunities and shooting. All right, you're going to do a lot of shooting, shooting, shooting tomorrow. Um, because we have no goalkeepers, everybody's expected to do their little part in goal tomorrow. All right, super job, lads. Go home and hydrate. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Ready for 10 o'clock. Give yourself a big clap. Come on now. Good job. Hey, one last thing. Hey, you did a great job yesterday putting away the equipment. So today the same thing, sure. hey, like I said before, don't be the guy who walks away, be the guy who says, I'll help. Because right. everybody wants to hang around with a guy who's right. part of the team. Community itself, it's culture, it's history, um, you know, the, how people are. What, how they think about soccer, uh, you know, their training methods, their facilities. Uh, it's just been a great experience. You know, I'm grateful for Terry. Uh, when we got here, you know, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Mm -hmm. And United Stars has left an absolutely great impression uh, about Barbada soccer um, because there will be, you know, many people all over the world who will be watching the videos that yeah. we, we, we make here. And from the first day with the Barbados Football Association allowing us to use the National Training Center here, um, when we drove up in the car and the players are in you know, uniforms and the balls and cones are there, they just did it first class. Mm -hmm. So as I've, as I've traveled around the world, I can only honestly say that uh, the impression I've had from Barbados soccer is that they're on the right track, they've got dedicated kids, 
phenomenal coaches who are dedicated. It's, it's been a great experience. Great mm -hmm. experience. It's an opportunity too for some of these kids who look at they may not come from backgrounds of uh, you know great economic backgrounds. Some of them, but soccer, if their academics are right, it can be a pathway for them to go to university at, at a different school um, in the United States or even you know in Barbados. But I'm here to advise them. Mm -hmm. um, to tell them what opportunities are out there. Um, but we're not just teaching soccer. I think this week we're teaching a lot of things about life lessons mm -hmm. uh, as young men, how they should be representing the community and become better young men. And that's a narrative that we strongly preach uh, throughout the whole week while we're here. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've been to Barbados before, you've seen our football, you've, you've experienced our football. Yes. What do you think of our, our football, the standard of play here, and what recommendations would you make? 